Hello, this is Haku with the Bean, and I am here to read SCP-007, 008, and 009. First off, we have SCP-007, also known as the a down humble planet. Item number SCP-007. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-007 is to be contained in a sealed room, measuring 10 meters on each side. Room is to be furnished comfortably as a living area, along with whatever items are requested by blank. Hereafter referred to as subject. Given that providing subject, I'm just gonna call him Bob, with requested items would not compromise security, Bob is not allowed to leave the room and is to be detained with force if necessary. Description SCP 007 is located within a cavity in the, in the abdomen of Bob. Bob is a Caucasian male. Physically approximately 25 years of age, so Bob's claims to be 28, and 176 in height. Most of Bob's abdomen, muscles, skin, and organs is absent, though Bob does not appear to suffer because of this. Instead of normal flesh, a sphere composed of soil and water is present, though it does not actually come into contact with, the subject with Bob's body at any point. The sphere appears to be, in most, most respects, a miniature near duplicate of the Earth, approximately 60 centimeters in diameter. Although continental alignment is not consistent with that of any known of any alignment known in Earth's history, the sphere has its own weather patterns and a legible or gravitational pull. In addition, into microscopic organisms somewhat resembling those of modern-day Earth. Earth inhabiting it, two intelligent species have been observed through contact and communication. Though contact and communication has yet to be made, technology levels of observed species must be checked at least once a week. And as of a date, are approximately equal to that of 15th century Earth. Bob claims to be named Bob. But no records of such a person can be found. Bob does not require food or water, and while he has been an observed consuming both, what happens to such substances after being swallowed is unknown. Bob is intelligent. IQ has been measured at 128. And am amiable. In regards to the planet, it is optimum as a minor curiosity about his body. Bob seems to experience no stress about his unusual condition. When questioned about a planet's origins, Bob replied, I just woke up one day and there it was. I don't have any idea how it got there. Bob has provided a social security number and driver's license number and requested that they be checked against known records. When checked, it was discovered that neither had been allocated. Dr. Blank has a weekly chest a game with Bob, during which Bob's mental health is evaluated. Dr. Blank reports that Bob does not seem to mind the restricted living environment and has yet to attempt to escape or show signs of violence or mental illness, though he has repeatedly requested a computer with an internet at, at, at connection. It is recommended that this not be provided as it may be used to, to compromise security. I mean, they could just tell him, don't let people know where you are or who you are. That's what they did for me. <sighs> SCP-008. 
By order of the Overseer Council, this file is subject to level 4 classification. Level 4 clearance is required. And we put in the credentials, which was just clicking a link. I think this is the zombie virus. SCP-008, Object Class Euclid. SCP-0087, this special conservative procedures. SCP-0087 has been deemed Class 5 Extreme Biological Hazards, and all related protocols apply. Incineration and, and irradiation measures will be deployed in the event of political or military action, which may result in the facility being dismantled. A power failure or zero communications from operatives or outside channels during eight, any given eight hour period. The quarantine. The quarantine period for operatives leaving the facility is four months. If a breach has occurred, incineration and irradiation measures shall be deployed. It should be the policy of all, all G2 sites to not prepare for an evacuation procedure. Description SCP-008 is a complex prion, samples of which are stored in each of the known on, on G2 sites. Research into SCP-008 is highly classified and primarily aimed at preventing research which may lead to the census of SCP-008 in the distant future. Traits of the SCP-008 prion include 100% infectiousness, 100% lethality, transmission in through exposed mucous membranes and all bodily fluids, not airborne or waterborne. Symptoms of infection with SCP-008 manifest no more than three hours after exposure and include flu-like -like symptoms with high fever, plus severe dementia in later stages, comet onset approximately 20 hours after first symptoms appear, and 12 hours after noticeable or dementia. My onset will, will be considered onset of death. A period of sporadic cellular necrosis occurs, which comes to resemble gangrene. Surviving tissue assumes its original function and is highly resilient. Red blood cells greatly increase oxy oxygen storage capacity, resulting in slower blood flow and increased muscle endurance and strength. Nervous and muscular and muscular systems are unaffected by total organ failure for several hours. Metabolism may decrease to extremely low levels, allowing subjects to survive for over 10 years without nutrition. High blood risk also results in electrical blood show from the gunshot, puncture, and slashing injuries. Condition behavior, motor controls, and extinctive behavioral mechanisms are damaged, and cognitive abilities are severed, are severely damaged and erratic. Animals experience excessive brain necrosis and are inactive. Subject can adapt to its damaged nervous system, but it's limited to basic physical activities, including standing up, balancing on two legs, walking, biting, grabbing, and crawling. Subject will energetically move, move towards sights, sounds, and smells it is associated with living humans. Subject will attempt to ingest living humans if physical contact is made. Neutralizing fully infected subjects requires cranial trauma. There is strong evidence to suggest SCP-008 itself did not not form naturally on Earth, since variants of similar complexity would have, have displaced much of the ecosystem. In 1959, a short collaborative effort with the USSR to locate G2 sites and eliminate SCP-008 was negotiated following their, their discovery. The status of SCP-008 in Russian custody since collaboration ended is unknown. Addendum 8 one SCP-500 has been found to be 
able to completely cure SCP-008 even in the advanced stages of the disease. So, this is uh, the zombie virus. Basically, this is the a way that stuff like The Walking Dead or Left 4 Dead or anything where people die and are then turned into zombies and have like actual like muscle rot or something like that happen to them could be zombies in the first place. In reality, this is completely impossible. Anyway, what was this? What was this called? Oh, right, red eyes. SCP-009, Object Class Euclid. Object is to be contained within a sealed storage tank of heat-resistant alloy with dimensions not less than 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. Under no circumstances should SCP-009 be exposed to temperatures in excess of 0 degrees Celsius when not undergoing testing and no wire based solution shall be allowed within 30 meters of the object's containment area. Objects chambers be filled with temperature sensors which must be monitored at all times and is to be kept refrigerated by no fewer than three redundant and cooling units. Any malfunction of sensors or coolants or of cooling systems is reported and repaired immediately but anytime the Temperature in the containment area climbs above negative 5 degrees Celsius. The chambers will be locked down and flow with coolant until temperatures return to safe levels. Negative 30 degrees Celsius to negative 25 degrees Celsius. Containment areas to be kept in total vacuum during testing, and personnel interacting with SCP-009 must wear full envir em environmental protection gear. Following testing, all equipment, personnel, and other materials must undergo dehydration procedures and be quarantined for no less than 12 hours. Any moisture found on displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the contaminated area as soon as possible. Living any organisms found to be contaminated by SCP-009 are to be terminated by chemical desiccation and extract molecules of SCP-009 added to containment. SCP-009 is approximately blank liters of a substance which superficially resembles distilled water, H2O, except with a, a distinct bright red hue. This red hue is discernible in all phases and serves as the most expedient method of identifying contaminated matter before its anomalous properties manifest. In contrast to mundane water, SCP-009 assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between in negative 100 Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius, and a solid state above those temperatures. At temperatures below 100 degrees Celsius, SCP-009 vaporizes into a gaseous space similar to steam. Examination of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. These substance appears to be identical to normal water molecules, with the exception of redacted in contrast to standard laws of uh, enthalpy. Dr. Blank cites Blank's resident expert on, on xenospatial physics suggests that SCP-009 may originate in a universe with alternate physical laws. The most hazardous part of the SCP-009, however, is the ability to contaminate normal H2O. When in contact with any aqueous solution, SCP-009 will throw out 
unknown mechanisms transfer its anomalous properties to other objects and creatures. Testing has shown it capable of assimilating ice, steam, tea, fruit juice, sewer water, blood, and blank. The time it takes for the process to occur varies depending on temperature and exact composition of affected matter. It had been observed as taking between three minutes and blank hours. Experiments on D-class personnel have illustrated the process of conversion by the substance which has been found to follow a consistent pattern. Initial exposure. Subject is exposed to SP009 and begins assimilating any moisture present on the exposed surface. Creatures in this stage do not commonly notice any unusual substance except for a slight warming sensation. Surface conversion. Frost begins to form on the exposed area as the heat produced by a subject and SP009 itself raises its temperature above zero degrees. This stage can take anywhere from one minute to blank hours, during which time subject begins to feel redacted crystals from the epidermis. Stage 3. Deep Tissue Conversion An exponential increase in temperature of SCP-009 causes runaway reaction throughout the subject's body, resulting in redacted. Active blood loss is minimal due to ice crystals. Was redacted, allowing subjects to remain alive and conscious for up to blank hours. Stage 4 Data Expunged. Testing on D class personnel was discontinued on April 23rd, 2000 something. Addendum Circumstances of Retrieval. Subject was found in blank, Alaska on November 5th, 19 blank. The foundation became involved after reports were obtained from the native blank tribe who came across the mangled bodies of a team of seal hunters which had apparently been shipped if wrecked blank kilometers from the village. All victims were found on encased in red ice. Cause of death recorded as internal bleeding, though close to examination found redacted. It surmises that the low ambient temperatures in the air be Affected the freezing process. So I don't. I'm not going to say that word. This prolonged the time in total con conversion by blank hours and allowed the victims to remain conscious while until data expunged. Origin of subject 009 is currently unknown. Investigating into similar events or materials in the area is ongoing. Evidence at the scene suggests redacted, possibly involving SCP blank. See exploration log A009 for details. Guessing we're going to see. Addendum 1109-19 blank. After initial report and retrieval of specimens, it was confirmed that the arachnoid entity found by MTFB7, see attached file, was indeed a previously unknown instance of 3023. Investigation has revealed the instance or origin in blank as a result of data expunge. Addendum December 06, 19 blank. After repeated inquiries, it should be noted that the portion of coastline upon which the initial victims were found was barren rock approximately Lake mirrors from the seashore and was sufficiently dry and cold to prevent significant contamination of the surrounding area. Had the site been close to the water, there is little doubt how an extinction level would have ensued. Consideration of upgrading SCP-009 to care class under review. Addendum, December 16, 2000 blank. Supercooling of SCP-009 for the purpose of, of experimentation is disallowed until further notice. First now are advised that liquid nitrogen is only to be used on subject in controlled amounts and not only until temperatures have reached except, except for less levels. 
Related note, possible application of 009 cold fusion research pending in an evaluation. Memo from 05 Command. January 9th, 2000 blank. We will decide to keep this thing Euclid for now. We understand the concerns raised, but as long as you keep the power on and nobody goes near its containment area, there shouldn't be a problem. That's why we're keeping it site blank after all. As for the cold fusion research, we're putting a pin in that for now. Frankly, we don't have it in budget for another uh, snapping like site blank. A salvage team so as in and found Dr. Blank's redacted. We're going to look at this exploration log before we go back and look at the cross-assessing situation. Exploration log A0091. Exploration log November 5th, 19 blank. Old Task Force Beta 7, the Has Matters, was deployed to recovery site to catalog and safely retrieve a samples of SCP-0094 transport to site blank. Agent Blank Bryce, MTFB-7, made a visual inspection of the area and noted three bodies, all male, all between the ages of blank and 40 years. Dr. Blank, also on site, surmised from the relative position of subjects that Mr. Blank, HR2, have to refer to as subject zero. Gonna call him. Hmm. a good name. Mr. Bob. Was the origin point of redacted. Subsequent and subjects are presumed to have been exposed to SCP-009 while attempting to help Mr. Bob back to the wreckage of the boat. During standard perimeter or sweep, Agent Blank and Hughes located what appeared to be humanoid tracks leading northeast. After brief deliberation, a three-man team consisting of Agent Hughes, Whitmore, and Cassie was dispatched to investigate potential security breach. Begin log 642-43. We found something, Control. It's a cave. The tracks are inside. Copy, Hughes. What do you see? Looks like a crack in the ice. Maybe a meter tall. The opening's not very wide. Cam, we got a body! Unidentified shuffling noises are heard. We didn't copy, Hughes. Repeat. There's a subject here. Air Control. Frozen and in the skip. Mel, about 15. Looks like he was trying to crawl away from something. There's a spear gun here, also frozen. It's been and fired. Any signs of trauma? There is a pause. Without touching him, I can't be sure, but looks like he was stabbed by something. See how he's gripping his chest here? Remember the spike is growing out? He might have been attacked. Did you hear her control? Oh my god, the voices make sense. Affirmative. Tag the coordinates for recovery and proceed into the cave. We using live fire, Captain? There might be hostiles, so yes. But keep them in, in single strap mode. Don't want the guns getting too hot. Good call. Don't want to end up like this guy. Wait more. Mm hmm. Nah, that's for sure. Agents write their weapons and proceed. Approximately two minutes pass. Bit more. Mm. Please repeat, Hughes. We didn't copy. It's... There's a chamber in here, Control. I'd say five or six meters in diameter. It's filled with red ice. In the middle, there's a pool. Looks about three meters wide. Depth unknown. The frick happened? Ah! Screams I heard. Gunfire. Hughes, come in. Order hostiles. There is a brief pop. Us. Freaking heck. Negative control. Just 
Jesus, a freaking polar bear. It's dead. There's dozens of bodies here. Not human. I see a few seals, a snow ox, and they... What the heck? The frick is that? No, 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 no. Oh, God. Hughes, do you copy? Cassie found a... Um, a spider. A giant spider. <sighs> there is a pause, during which shuffling and hard breathing are heard. It's alive? What do you mean by giant? I mean freaking huge control. At least a l meter or leg span. It's frozen. Wait, no shit. I don't see anything inside. It's almost like it's made of this stuff. Cassidy. <sighs> Not possible. We're nowhere close to Germany. What? What about Germany? Captain? I think that's... 3023. Repeat, Captain. Gaz has said the spider is SCP 3023 control. There is a pause. That's not possible, Hughes. Why would you think that? I'm sure, Control. I've worked with 3023. It's made. It's in some skip 9. Wait, what's Sorry 23? That is classified, Agent Cassidy. You are to speak no more of this. If the specimen is destroyed, there is there's no reason to worry about it. Please continue your search. But how the frick did I get here? We copy control. Cast SC. Sweep the perimeter. See if there's any side tunnels. But that's an order! Mm hmm. Check these corpses. See if there are any humans. On it! Agent Hughes, how deep is the pool you mentioned? Can't see the... Your bottom. God, I'm having SCP-354 flashbacks. This is not cool. Oh yeah, that one. That's gonna be fun. You'll see. Focus, Captain. Is there anything nearby you can use to measure the depth? Hmm. Well, the spider has a spear sticking out of it. Can you safely retrieve it? The suit protects me, right? All the same, try not to touch the affected material. Alright. I've got it. Should work. Looks to be about 1.5 meters long. Copy the at use. Proceed with caution. There is a pause. Well, it's definitely more than a meter deep. I could go further, but I'd have to get my hand closer to that stuff. Suit or no suit, I'd prefer not to do that. Affirmative, Captain. We'll dispatch from D-Class with its gear to test that out. Continue your search. Copy that. Well, I guess I'm... Captain? Standby, Control. What is it, Cassidy? I think you're gonna want to see this, sir. I think I know where the spider came from. Control. I'm going deeper in the cave. Affirmative. Proceed. Approximately one minute of boots crunching on re on ice and packed snow. Oh, that's not good. What do you see, Captain? An arp, an aperture, about a meter in diameter. It's covered in stuff. Cassidy. 10 seconds of report. Report! Do you have a visual of Agent Cassidy? No. 
Frick, she must have gone inside. Please remain calm. Describe this aperture. I, uh, it looks like a tunnel, but there's no ice past the mouth, red or otherwise. I can make out a dim light coming from somewhere inside. It must be Cassie's torch. Is there anything else unusual? Cassidy! Cassidy! Captain Hughes, please respond. Is there anything else unusual about the tunnel? Oh. Yeah, it's wet. The walls are, and the floor, there's a puddle about a meter down. Frick. It's... the puddle is red. A few minutes of breathing and shuffling noises. Control, did you get that? Affirmative, stand by. Thirty seconds of breathing, followed by approaching footsteps. Yo, what's up? Where's Cassidy? She went in there. Yo, Cassidy, holla back, girl. 30 seconds of, of silence. Mm, control, I'm going in there. Negative, Hughes. We're, report, we're recruiting a team of, we're rerouting a team of the E-Class for recovery. Your orders are to withdraw the rest of your team and await further uh, orders. That are redacted. Whoa, hold up. Take it easy. You have your orders, Hughes. I don't think I need to remind you, Data expunged. 45 seconds of silence. Copy control. Let's go. End log. I don't think I've really looked into what SCP-3023 is. But now we have the cross testing report. The following experiment recorded was recovered via a chance and occurrence of SCP-507 drifting into a universe in which a described test was carried out using SCP-107. The applicability of the reported findings to our own universe is pending review. Input: 10 milliliters of SCP-009. Result: Red and snow fell in test area for 27 minutes with moderate intensity. Grass growing in test area began runaway reaction, which ended with the entire area being frozen within minutes. Notably, anti-opathic reaction of SCP-009 did not extend past the effective radius of SCP-107. For reasons still under investigation, non-grass plants in the area turned bright red in color, greatly expanded and mutated to display skin-colored tentacles. Similar to those of of species of Sarcopensis. The silage is produced by the tentacles later found to be tiny beads of SCP-009. How the plant is able to survive with SCP-009 integrated into its cell structure is currently under investigation, with the preliminary hypothesis being the plant is a reflection of flora from the cis native universe. <sighs> this has been SCP-007, 008, and 009. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I and please, if you do choose to comment, leave a question down below. As I would like to really introduce myself and answer your questions that you may have for me.